Hello, Takamasak here, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Last time, we had just released the orb there to get through the rest of the forest here, and we're gonna go look for the town of Matango, so let us do that. And a new enemy here, a crawler. He's not really terribly difficult. He might use Sleep Flower to put you to sleep for a little bit, but other than that, nothing really too special about him. Uh, his physical attacks will probably be a little stronger than the rest of the enemies in the area, so do keep that in mind. It's not a bad idea to uh, level up your spells a little bit around here, just on the way to the town. Oh boy. Back. Now. Oh, well, that worked out fine. Yeah, these areas are actually pretty large, but it's not too far of a walk to Matango, and you know where you're going. I'm going to kill a few extra things just to get the experience. And, oh, also I did obviously move to the bow. Haha. <laughs> For the boy off screen, just because he actually got to level 3 in the whip. I completely missed that. What can you do about it? Other than move on. No. Murder it. Murder it. He's over here somewhere. You'll know, because I'll suddenly take tons of damage. <laughs> like that. Get him? Alright, guys. Is that thing still alive? He is still alive. This is unfortunate. Ha! <laughs> I heard bones. I wonder what's up with those dragons. I keep seeing those things. Yeah, if somebody gets put to sleep, I'll just take control of another character. I don't want to really sit there and wait for it. No. Yes, bite him awake, please. Get him. Yeah, unfortunately, the bow is one of the more boring weapons in the game. But I don't mind it really. Oh, okay. I'm going this way now. Yeah, I don't really mind it, but just leveling it just feels tedious for some reason. Could just be me. Probably a mixture between low damage and, uh, just, I don't know. Feels silly enough with that ridiculous range. But I'm just gonna keep somebody also with the spear just to help out with ballooning. Uh, that'll make the crawlers much easier and, well, anything, honestly. But it's mostly for the crawlers and the steam crabs here. I could switch the girl over to the Moogle Claws, too, just to get a m little more additional help, but it's not really necessary. There we go. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I see you up there, crawler. Go away. Catch! Yeah. Yeah, we won't actually go up here. I'm just goofing around. Oh, one more crawler. Why not? Murder it? Right. Ow. Dual crawler! Try to stick the spear up its butt. And I love how it dodged my charge attack. Right, there we go. That's level two. And yeah, better use a cure water here. Yeah, before you get to the next town, which is just after this very, very short cave here, empty out both of your character's MP just to get an additional uh, levels on it there. Now, kimono birds, they will drop pebblers, and just like the other summoning monsters, they can drop two at a time, so it's a good idea to pretty much keep them locked there. And... Yeah, let's get the spear out, or not the spear, but the axe. Oh yeah, I'm gonna burn off the MP and I'll be right back. Alright, I took care of all that, and I just continued with Undine for the girl, and I'm gonna level up uh, Sylphid a little bit for the sprite there. Nobody got any levels, so nothing really to report there. You say Matango to greet each other. Got it. Well, that's boring. I want to see you guys do the head spin tag. Oh, really? 
Gantma? Is that some kind of weird reorganization of the letters there? King Truffle. Well, you don't need to be. You can spit bubbles and do the head spin and whatever else that uh, you guys do. I just got here. I don't even think this is the exit, either. Hey. Oh, yeah. Somebody already said that. Hooray! Fung Castle! Huh. Oh. Well, the first thing I want to do is stop by the shop here. It might be a wonderful idea to get a helmet for the girl here. Uh, everybody's gonna get some new equipment here. I'm gonna get two quill caps. And I'm gonna get the, uh, what is it, steel helmet? Yeah, steel cap there for the boy. And get all sorts of fancy overalls. That mildly trendy, I suppose. And max out everything else. Now you can buy the fairy walnuts here for only 500. Now that it's a normal shop, you don't have to be robbed by Neko there, so. Not a bad idea to max everything, especially your medical herbs. Those are very important for something coming up here. And how many other times I got murdered? There we go. Yeah, if you want to purchase one, or max them out even, go ahead. And we also have a new accessory here, the Wolf's Band. And I believe these will add five to your agility if you want to equip them. And it's also a decent time in the game to start talking about that. I'm not going to bother purchasing it because Five agility doesn't really help a whole lot of anything. So I'm just going to skip that and just stick with the Cobra Bracelet that protects against poison still. He's told me all about... What is with these guys? Oh, well, let's, uh, I think the boomerang, right? Yeah. Well, now it looks more boomerangy, I guess. Oh. Yeah, here's the inn here. Apparently you get to sleep in hay. And who hasn't wanted to do that? I would absolutely not want to do that. Oh, really? Huh. A mushroom on a white dragon. That'd be interesting. Oh. Hmm. I should go check that out. Oh, really? Ah-ha-ha. <laughs> oh, really? What might that be? Oh, yeah! I saw those dragons flying around through the woods there. Huh. Yeah, let's talk to King Troll. But Of course it's me! No, you are primitive mushrooms. Why do you guys all gather up when he's got something to say now? Riding a white dragon and wielding the sword. They will save the world! How did he change the music like that? Absolutely! Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. I actually wanted to go check on the dragon anyway. Not too worried about a stinking palace at this point. And if also, if you come up here, you can get the orb of javelin? Yeah, there we go. Alright, now, like I said, seeming how we are to a point in the game where accessories and stuff will start changing our stats a little bit, I think I'll go over it. Uh, this is pretty much going to be the rest of the episode here, so not really going to be any more advancement after that. Uh, how damage is calculated, it takes your weapon attack plus your strength, and that's how that is determined. It deals damage based on that. So, obviously the boy's doing more, he's got 28 base strength. Uh, how hit percentage is calculated, it takes a 75 base, and it takes your agility and divides it by 4. So what that would be there is uh, 7, so 75 plus 7 is 82. So if you have stuff that adds a lot to agility, it's also going to boost your hit percentage and your evade percentage also. And just like the hit percentage, the evade takes your agility divided by 4, except for it adds a certain percentage per each uh, armor you equip. So just in general, any armor will add 37%. Uh, I believe, and Helms add 23, 
and uh, 17 for accessories there. I didn't really worry about it for the uh, first little bit of the game. I will have everybody equipped with something now. But, uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't make a huge difference for the initial part of the game there. So, uh, let's see. Defense is your constitution uh, plus the defense of your armor. So, constitution adds to uh, defense primarily. And I've read a couple places that it may or may not uh, help protect you from certain traps. Uh, some traps later will start to give status effects and possibly even kill you straight out. So I'm not sure if anybody has more solid information about that. Well, feel free to let me know. And we also have, let's see, the wisdom intelligence obviously based on magics there. Uh, the intelligence is more for, I believe, the sprite and how much damage he will be doing uh, per offensive magic cast. So it, uh, yeah, it should be more than the girls there. 18 and 28. And Wisdom is more for the girl. I believe that is uh, how the... Uh, how well Cure Water heals and how... I'm not sure if it plays a role in the duration of the spells, but it... I don't think so. And then, really, the only other thing to go over is the magic defense, which is a little weird, but... Uh, all of your armors have... I mean, each unique piece of armor has its own magic defense, and how that's calculated is... I'll ballpark it, so let's take a look here. I don't think they're... Oh, okay. I don't think they're for sure what I'm remembering here, but the helms, they pretty much provide the same amount of magic defense as they do physical defense. So the quill cap that I just equipped should provide a 10, or at least about 10. And let's see, overalls are about half, so once I equip that, it should be about 10 or 11 uh, magic defense there, so. And we also have accessories, which will add, uh, accessories are double, so that would be uh, 12 magic defense, so if anybody was wondering how that worked, well, there you go, now you know how all that stuff works, and you can make a, a little bit better of a decision on uh, what to equip there, and... Yeah, I'll let you know what adds to what as we progress through the game, uh, but now I think the poison protection is the way to go. Uh, now, even if we do move on from the Cobra bracelets, it's not a terrible idea to save one, because if you equip them while poisoned, they will actually get rid of the poison. So, if you want to, I probably will end up not doing that, just because, like I've said in previous episodes, poison really isn't that dangerous, so... Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, rest up, and then I will come back down here to the guy that has moved over since then. And I'll do one more uh, magic drain. If I can come up here. Just on this map right here, I'll just do it on this uh, water thug here. So I'll meet you back here with a little stronger spells, everything equipped, uh, all my excess equipment NPC'd. And we should be good to go for next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana. This is Takamasak, and I'll see you later.